welcome to the curve linear motion so basically um, the particle is following a curved path and then uh, we can also use uh, the vector representation uh, of the equation to measure the particle movement in this problem the velocity of the particle is given okay so this is the velocity of the particle uh, where t is in seconds uh, and all are in vector forms if you notice um, if the particle is at the origin when t equals to zero determine the magnitude of the particle's acceleration when t equals to two seconds also what is the x y z coordinate position of the particle at this instant which means that we are going to measure the position at t equals to two seconds um, so what is a a is the acceleration all right so a in vector form okay so we are going to get a in vector form equals to dv over dt so since we have a uh, velocity here okay we can differentiate uh, this function to get the acceleration so this is going to be 32 t i uh, plus 12 t squared j plus uh, 5k okay so this is going to be the equation for the acceleration so meter squared minus 2 so this is a so now um, when t okay equals to 2 seconds okay so we can calculate the a so a equals to 32 times 2 okay plus 12 times 2 square j plus uh, 5k all right 5k j, all right so here we are going to get uh, 64i plus 48j plus 5k 5k meter per second per second okay so we can put it this way okay for the dimension and the magnitude of the acceleration okay the magnitude of the acceleration will be this okay when we when you have a vector and then you want to calculate the magnitude it's always to be uh, ax plus ay plus az squared okay in order to calculate the magnitude so this is going to be 64 squared plus 48 squared plus 5 squared so once you calculate this you're going to get 80.2 meter per second per second so this is basically the acceleration of the particle so next, uh, we are trying to calculate the uh, position. So position is basically integration of velocity. So in vector position, the symbol is R. So uh, okay, let me delete this first. Okay. So you are going to get uh, dr equals to v dt. So this is in vector form. So now we calculate the position so 0 to r uh, dr okay dr equals to um, the velocity equation okay it's basically 16 t squared okay the one that you have earlier so this is from 0 to t so this is going to be 16 squared sorry 16 t squared okay 16 t squared okay uh times i uh plus 40 q j plus 5 t plus 2 okay Okay, and then this is going to be dt, correct? 
okay good so now once you finish this okay you can get the uh when, once you finish the integration you're going to get 16 okay 16 t cubed divided by 3 uh, this is going to be i plus uh, t to the power of 4j plus uh, 5 over 2t squared plus uh, 2t right okay, 2t good okay so this is basically for k okay don't forget that so it says that um, calculate the coordinate position at t equals to 2 seconds so just plug in the values when t equals to 2 seconds okay so this is basically r which is the vector position so just plug in all those value so r equals to 16 times 2 to the power of 3 divided by 3 okay so this is i and then um Two to the power of four j and then plus five over two two to the power of two plus two times two so this one is k now you have what two point seven two point seven i plus sixteen j plus 14.0 k so this is the uh, position at uh, the given time so basically you can also represent the vector position as the coordinate at t equals to 2 will be 42.7 16 14